Platinum is still with us. The NGX All Share Index and market capitalization appreciated by 1.26% to close the week at 48,154.65 and 26.229 trillion respectively. A total turnover of 839.978 million shares worth 12.418 billion naira in 16,183 deals was traded last week by investors on the floor of the exchange. In contrast to a total of 711.618 million shares valued at 15.33 billion naira that exchanged hands last week in 16,662 deals. The financial services industry led the activity chart with 616.627 million shares valued at 4.305 billion naira traded in 7,609 deals, thus contributing 73.41% and 34.67% to the total equity turnover volume and value, respectively. The conglomerate industry followed with 78.470 million shares, worth 260.581 million naira in 575 deals. The third place was the ICT industry with a turnover of 46.619 million shares, worth 5.717 billion naira in 1,222 deals. But as the update for last week, and we have right here with us, Ambrose Omodio, the Chief Research Officer, Investor Consulting, is right here with us in the building. Good to have you join us today. Thank you, Professor. All right. So very quickly, let's look at the numbers for last week. Uh, what are your thoughts? For me, what we saw was expected in the market. Okay. You know, it's an extension of the bull run we saw in the month of uh, November. And that is the first uh, two trading of the month of December, being the last month of the year. Any season is already there because I tell you by January, after seeing different set of number on the account, or the account coming from that, this is the time for any design investor to position ahead of uh, those numbers. And don't forget that for the straight three weeks now, we are seeing a bull run with a stronger uh, momentum. This is a signal that on a daily chart, on a weekly chart, on Monday, we are seeing a buying you know, move in the market. So last week, up about um, 95 percent buy position and just five percent sell position it tells that people are related to in those no blue chip store that has good dividend yield that tells you that it is not all stock that you want to now because there's something that you are not sure dividend but those that are sure we have seen their performance for almost straight five years and they grew their dividend on a yearly basis and the numbers are pointing that they can still also do the same thing this year that is where it should be and because the dividend yield in the market is becoming attractive now i see that some phone are leaving gradually the fixed income market i said here before that time and price is very very important we're well, looking at that too now because between now and end of april which is less than six months we are making more than six percent because if you put your money in treasury b as now by next by this week on Wednesday, about 54 billion is going for treasury b it depends the rate again i tell you that investors oh, for me to stay for less six months and make almost 14 percent then put my money in treasury b for six months and make just 6.7 percent in treasury b you know that value that as a good smart investor you need to go to equity now and come back later if things change. for me companies have shown that the earnings are strong and this end will support a higher payout. And if you are buying at this price, you are not buying it because you have seen the dividend. This is what they pay last year. I'll give you a sign that this is the any as at what they pay last year. If the company increase the payment again, because most of them have as I said earlier, about ten, I mean eight or ten to fifteen of them have beat their twenty twenty two, two twenty two one performance for full year as a third quarter. And as I know, most of them have covered about almost fifty to seventy percent of their performance in what they did in what in full year okay. last year. They say that this company has a good position to give you a better dividend. For that just who you go to those stocks that uh have that good day, especially the banking stock become attractive, those in the telecom become attractive, the the agricultural sector and I tell you like I said I told you last week that if you look back and say which sector will actually support our GDP. No, if you are if you are thinking that way, you should do that go and check their performance also as a better quarter, they do well. They tell you that this company will continue because nothing has changed between you know, October and, and today. All right. uh, Before you show us the screen, I'm just being curious. I mean, this has been a period where we have uh, economic headwinds, and yet, how are these companies able to give this better than expected results? That is why, as an investor, because you can't predict what will happen tomorrow, as you are buying, you have what we call your stop loss and profit target because. You are in the market to make profit. Don't just be a oh, market is going up. Set a target that is achievable. Don't say because market is going to want to make 100% in the market. 25%, 18%, we are good to go. Because if you are going to wait, oh, let me make 5 million. That is the same market that will take you up will bring you down. First, we are done because we are seeing market going up in the midst of headwinds. You don't mention, I want to just sit down, invest, and go and sleep. No, you invest and watch your watch, your trade. That's why I say trade your plan. As you know, because all this will have in a comment. Most companies also are navigating in between these headwinds. For companies that have, you know, know that yes, they've increased cost of 
my production and I'm going to pass the cost of production to my consumers. These guys, they are less relaxed because they, all the parties, they, their price will still make money because they increase the cost of their product to cover the cost of their sales. But it's considered that they can't increase their sales. Once you increase your sales, your price, they dump your product. You get what I'm saying? Of course. All these things, you go into loss. Then you as an investor, because the well, oh, market's going to let me for those who are going to You look for sectors that you know that they have factors that are driving their, their price, either that policy or because of sentiment or because of the season we are. Essentials and the season, like you yeah, said. Like season where we are there. It should be. And as I said earlier, you must have a plan you are trading. Don't trade them because my friend is buying. No, you have your plan. You know the cost of your phone. If you are using your money, you want to pay school fees to go and buy, uh, uh, go and buy Japan or go and buy. Uh, you go in the end of the day, you are buying stuff that has it name. Because in my US, that's why I said good chip stores and value stores that have good fundamental is what we should be looking at now. The good thing is that, like you said, if you look at this chart now, okay, this time we have a daily chart and a weekly chart. Why does it you look at chart? This is time for you not know, to draw rely on fundamental load. The fundamental will always be there. Why sentiment will change? And that sentiment is between the psychology of people that are playing the market. We have not only open the market, the people that are looking at this one, what I'm looking now, when they see action, they take action. You that have been very because of fundamental and down free hand, they will sell it on you. That's why you need to understand what is the fundamental doing and what is taking that doing. That is the sentiment of people in the market, the players in the market, how they're reacting to one information or the other. And if you want to get it, look at your chart, you see their reaction on the chart. And you can see, like today, you can see at the end of Friday, market was already up, you know, about almost uh, getting over 1.2 percent for that day alone. You can see that this is a cup and handle that the market has formed already. And in terms of analysis, when you see cup and handle, it says that the cry has higher upside potential to go. And we have seen it already from it on a daily chart. You now move, okay, let's go and see our weekly chart to see what is happening. On the weekly chart, the market has crossed 50 days moving average, and that is a very strong uh, circle line that everybody is looking at. 50 days moving average and 20 days moving average. It has crossed it, there the is strength in the market. The momentum in the market is still very, very strong, and that I'm not surprised because this is the end of the year. When everybody wants to position forward, the new year, and most of the company investing has December as year end. And then we will expect to see the full result starting from January next year. And you're not buying now, what are you going to buy? You to buy in February when the price is up again? That's why right. both everybody in the market, this one investor, only that what is going on that we have not seen the uh, the impact of uh, the smart money on this one investor because the volume in the market is still very low. Yes, what we saw last week was that an average traded volume about 800 and something million shares that gains uh, 600 traded the previous year, more uh, uh, week. So the people we need to see more volume to show that yes, this one investor, smart money around the market. I told you that because of this minor design here and there, when I have you that that is the timing is short or not, I'm telling you people don't understand what CBN is doing. I'm taking their money away from their kitchen and their toilet to work to grab buy something. All right. I, I think this is a good place to end the conversation. Thank you so much for sharing uh, these insightful thoughts with us today. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll take a break now. When we'll come back, we'll delve into some other conversations that will definitely interest you. Stay with us.